I'm Sir Tap Tap, and today I thought I'd talk to you about how the premium fish works in Abyssrium. Spoiler alert, pretty much nothing is good about what I'm gonna talk to you about. Um, so first things first, these gem things in the shop tab, um, or these, the, the vitality ones, they're complete garbage. Um, so look here, time travel 50 hours, 800 gems, that's a lot of money's worth of gems. Um, 13 EL vitality. Um, that is less than my current per tap, uh, vitality. That, these are basically a scam that is not worth it, uh, once you get late game at all, in any capacity, just don't do those. Um, Midas tap is the one thing, I mean, it's not a fish, but it's, it's almost kind of, sort of, maybe worth it, but only if you don't use a macro in, like, Nox at player. Which, uh, oh, you can't see the macro. Hold on. Can we, yeah, this, this, this thing or doodle. Um, just Google Nox app player. It's really not hard to set up. I have a video on it. It's just It's very simple. Uh, you do need a PC or a Mac to set it up. But yeah, the Midas tap the only good thing about Midas tap is That apparently if you hold click on and activate Midas tap and then you watch an ad the Midas tap will keep tapping and that way It's like an actual auto tapper, but it's still significantly worse than free auto tappers out there So I can't really recommend it um Next, on to the, the event packages. So the thing about the event packages, um, it's only for that specific event that it doubles the things that you get. Even if you got last year's Halloween whale and this year's like the Halloween thing again, nah, it's only double once. It's only double for the current thing. So you're spending 10 bucks for double on like a single month's worth of event. And it, it's really not worth it in my opinion because that's never like double sounds really good, right? But here's the thing about double if it's impossible half of impossible is not easy Like if it's like really hard, it's gonna be easier But like it's not gonna make the difference between totally impossible and totally easy and it's just Bad and it depends like if you buy this on like the last day of the event. It's garbage. It's that's why I don't like these temporary things It's just it's not a good way to spend money also, the Create Life 30% discount. Uh, the thing about the life percentage discounts, so um, a lot of people get confused by these. They're not as good as they sound. So I do have a 50% Create Life discount because I bought the, uh, the this little dude, the black and white clownfish. So all fish are 50% cheaper forever. That sounds like really significant, right? But here's the thing about fish prices. Um, so my current fish price is uh, 2 EN Vitality. So I'm gonna buy a new fish. You know, watch the really slow animation that is really infuriating after you've made about 400 fish, which I have. I think, I think I'm like several hundred actually. Anyway, now it is seven vitality because it multiplies by 3.5 every time. Um, so when you get that 50% discount, the uh, the amount still increases by 3.5 every fish you buy. So basically, it just buys you like one or maybe two extra fish early. And then the price just keeps racing out of your reach. So it doesn't really change the vitality curve in general. It's just like a one-time vitality doubler. So it, it really doesn't significantly speed up the game like you might hope. Um, then there's um, also these these fall event pack like the the past packs from uh, prior events. They don't do anything if you buy them like late. Like, they just kind of leave them up a bit extra so you can get them if you really want it. You know, you really want a unicorn, you're a big My Little Pony fan or something. But it's not even a little pony, it's it's, it's like a My Rather Large Horse, which I don't think anybody is in on that, honestly. Um, so that's the, those packages. The Ghost Package is also particularly bad. He's 20 bucks for no reason and gives no gems. I would say the only package that's actually significantly worth it is the one package that I purchased, the uh, the $5. You get like 2,000 gems, you get the little fisherino, you get Create Life 50% discount, and you get 100, uh, you get 10% vitality extra. So the de developers of this game, as I've said many, many times, are incredibly incompetent in basically every possible way. Uh, sorry to say it like that, but it's really bad. Um, so what they've done here is, despite making an idle game, which is basically math turned into a game, um, they don't know how to how percentages works. So what they really mean when they say 110% total vitality production is it gives you 10% more. That that one there should be a plus sign. It's plus 10% vitality production. 
Um, it's not double and then 10% more, which is what it sounds like. No, it's just 10%. Yeah, so the $5 package, I would say, is kind of worth it. If you're going to buy anything, that would be the one thing that I would say is fairly worth it. Because 2,000 gems, that's a couple of, uh, well, that's more than a couple of upgrades for your things here. But uh, maxing out your skills isn't really worth it. Somebody has, in my written guide, there's a big chart somebody made on Reddit. I think it was uh, Idle State on Reddit. Um, Parker, would you please get down? Um... Basically, as the skills level up, they become less and less valuable, with the one exception of Glowing Conch, which actually gets better as you upgrade because there's less and less percent left. Um, so the higher levels cost more and they do less, so they're really not worth, like, 1,000, this is not worth that many gems. Even the later Song of the Moon levels are not very worth it. Uh, just get everything to level 11 uh, is what you really want to do. But yeah, th these things... It's not really that amazing of a benefit um, Because you still need a crazy amount of gems if you really want to truly max everything I think you need some insane thing like you'd probably need the supreme package. You might even need more um, I could math that out. I was too lazy. I apologize, but I don't believe uh, That might be enough, but I mean do you really want to spend $100 for, for this garbage? I mean, it kind of looks weird, honestly. Like, I, I think seals are kind of cute, but I don't know about this one. It just kind of looks inappropriate. Um, and yeah, you can get a mermaid. And you get plus 10 max fish. You can make your game even laggier by having a few more fish. Those those are just the whale hunter ones, though. Don't, don't even think about those. But yeah, I, my advice in mobile games, also these gem packages, complete garbage. Until you've, like, exhausted the fish packages to get. Do not even think about these, because these are a horrible waste compared to, like, so for 20 bucks, you can get 2,000 gems, or you could buy the $5 package and get that many gems. So, like, it's, these are bad. Um, but yeah, the thing about mobile games is that the microtransactions are really never worth it. The only situations in which a microtransaction is worth it is if it unlocks a major part of the game, like if it's a like free trial, like the, the Super Mario Run thing, where it's basically buying the game and there's a free demo, it's not really a microtransaction. Or if there's like a free, like a cheap thing that you can buy to, um, to get rid of the ads. I'll buy things like that, because that's, you know, less ads permanently, that's nice. The thing about paying to progress is that progression is always designed to slow way down in these games. Like, as you can see, watch how little Vitality I get here like well, I'm behind on buying fishes. So my vitality is slow But once you get past DL vitality the game gets real real slow and uh, Funny enough the best way to speed up this game is not to pay money. It's to make lots and lots of fusion fish and The main reason I haven't made lots and lots of fusion fish is because a I don't have any interesting fish to buy and B It takes a lot of clicks to go through and do all of this crap um, So you can't really the problem is, you can't really meaningfully pay to progress. Um, and that's how that's how they catch whales, is because people with a lot of money or with a lot of spending issues, um, they buy to get, you know, a little bit of progress today, and uh, then tomorrow it's like, oh, the game is slow again. You guys have got to pay another 20 bucks. Then they realize on Thursday, oh, the game slow again. You guys got to pay another 20 bucks. This time it's going to be fast forever, and it's going to be enjoyable. It, it's never, it's never enjoyable. It's never meaningfully faster. So this is just like a burst of instant gratification that does not even matter. Just, yeah. What I would say, if you want to spend money in a mobile game, um, my rule is pay what you think the developers deserve for the fun that you have actually had. Don't pay thinking you're going to make the game fun, because to be quite frank, microtransactions game like this like I said, they're almost never worth it. Pay for the fun you've had, you know? I, I, I tend to treat microtransaction games just like any other game. Uh, if I don't think it's worth it, you know, I, I consider it like, if I played this over to friend's house for like five hours and it sucked, I'm not gonna pay anything. I'm not gonna buy it myself. But if I did really enjoy it, oh, I'll, you know, say I enjoyed $5 worth, I enjoyed $10 worth, whatever you think it was worth, give the developers that money. And by the way, since some people think 
I, I mean, I think it's because they changed the name to Tap Tap Fish, which I hate, by the way. Um, my name, Sir Tap Tap, completely unrelated to that. I've had this name for, like, ten years at this point. It's Tap Taps are little spike balls in Yoshi's Island that are almost invincible. That's nothing to do with any of this. Uh, I have nothing to do with this game, which is why you, you might have, like, guessed that from the part where I insult it a lot. Or the developers, at least. It's still kind of a mostly good game, despite massive incompetence at basically every level. But, uh, just in its own, pretty impressive. But yeah. Pay what you think they deserve. Don't, don't buy thinking like, oh, if I get this junior package, the game's gonna get so much faster forever. Nah. You'll spend your 4,000 gems, and you know, you, you'll upgrade some skills, but like, if I were to buy this right now, 4,000 gems would give me like, I would get like, five levels of Remains of a Nautilus. That's garbage. That is nothing. That's nothing. No. That's, it's, it's nothing. Um, the, the only other thing I would say is when buying fish in this game, if you look at this cat and you think, oh yeah, I want $10 to have this cat specifically, then sure. Like, don't ignore all the rest of this crap. Um, look, look at it this way. Would you spend $20 for this glowy mushroom thing? You know, think of it as buying the fish, and the rest is just free benefits that happen to come with it. You know? Like, you wouldn't buy a car because of the, like, you know, the hot cocoa machine the salesman had, right? Think of this other stuff as the hot cocoa machine in, in the car dealership. You don't want to buy a car because they're nice to you and they have the, the hot cocoa machine. You know, I've, I've made that mistake before, too. It's, it's not worth it. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, basically, microtransactions in general, they're not gonna fix the game forever. They're, they're designed to run out, so... Don't think that you're gonna make this, like, you're never gonna turn a free-to-play game into a regular, not, like, a premium game. Like, you can't pay a game that intentionally gets slower and slower. You can't turn it into Monument Valley if you pay for it. You, Monument Valley is that way, because you pay up front. That's really all there is to it. Um, but if you really, really like cats or unicorns or pointy poison fishes or whatever this thing is, you know, feel free. But uh, just buy things for the fish or because you want to support developers. Don't don't buy thinking that you're going to fix the game because it, it doesn't. It just doesn't. Um, pretty much... Watching like one or two of my videos or reading my guide is going to improve your Abyss Room experience a hundred times more than any of these purchases will, to be quite frank. Because buying microtransactions does not really necessarily mean you're going to play the game right. Like, it's not going to teach you, you know, like, you're not going to buy the $10 thing and be like, oh, I need to, uh, you know, upgrade Fusion Fish because they're really important for getting Vitality. No, that's... You gotta work smarter, not harder. That's what idle games are kind of all about. See, so yeah, being being aware of how the game works is so much more valuable to you than than the microtransactions in the game. And if you pay like even if you pay like a hundred bucks, you're probably still gonna progress slower if you don't know what you're doing than somebody who really understands how things go. So stay informed, and this goes for all mobile games. This is not just specifically about Abyssrium. It might sound like I'm ragging on them, and I kinda am. But this is just kind of mobile game design, and that's kind of this is kind of a thing in pretty much all of the other free-to-play things I played. Um, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is kind of like this, where the thing is, if you spend ten bucks in Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, you can skip like one 48-hour timer. But there's like a hundred different 48-hour timers in the game. Okay, maybe not a hundred, but there's at least like twenty. So, what are you gonna do? Keep spending money? Because like you're never gonna run out of timers. You're never gonna stop the game from being free to play by paying. So, in my opinion, just calm down, let the game be slow, and pay the developers what you think that they deserve. Don't, like, you're not gonna fix it. Anyway, I've said that like five times, but it's important. So, and yeah, somebody, I, I got reminded because somebody asked if they, if the Halloween, or if the event things stack, and it's like, no, they, they're only one event. They are extremely not worth it. No, oh, the one thing is, the one thing, when you do buy these, though, you can, you can make them with Vitality. So, like, if you buy the Halloween cat, it's over in your regular fish tab. 
instead of uh, like here's yeah here's the little black and white clownfish. The only one where you couldn't buy more was the assistant sea otter, which was stupid, by the way. Um, but that's you can't buy that one anymore. I hate their limited time purchase things. Like that's that's just sales pressure bullcrap, and that's kind of why I'm less inclined to spend money on this game as well. Uh, I don't like being sold to. I, I like buying a nice game up front, which is might be kind of surprising that I even bother doing this stuff. And honestly, if you asked me like two years ago, I probably never would have even considered doing this, but I like I still enjoy this game despite the flaws, not really because of them. Anyway, enjoy Abyssrium despite its flaws, everyone, and I hope I've helped you enjoy it despite those flaws. Why is my thing stuck? Parker, what did you do? I blame this on you. There we go.